welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to continue with our chest system we are going to fix few issues for example if we click on this medical box now it does not appear appeared only the previous item if we double click it then this appears but as you can see we are adding also more items than we actually have so let's begin by fixing the issues with having more items than we have so how do we do that is by going to the chest blueprint in the inventory system folder and here we have two functions which we need to fix so the add item function has an issue and that is because here we are adding the found amount with the amount that is in the selected item which is not what we want so up here we need to disconnect these pins and we need to connect the found amount to the top one and we need to add one so that we would add one item at a time and also here where we are adding a new item to the chest we need to do a make as inventory structure and we need to make a new structure so we need to connect all of these pins but the amount and amount we need to set to one to add one item at a time so I'm gonna reconnect the other pins like so and we have this item uh, as inventory structure added over here and we also need to add one over here as well like so so that fixes the adding issue and also we will have the same issue for remove item so in the remove item function I haven't added a input we need to add a amount input amount item amount there we go and this needs to be a integer and all we gotta do is here we don't have a pin set so we need to connect this over here and this will remove one item at a time so now we can compile and save this and now if we would check this out we have everything working so we can add four and two like we have and now let's fix the issue that we need to um, wait or double click to get the UI to update and that is because the server is receiving information after the local character so we are going to fix this by adding a loading screen in between so we are going to add a new blueprint widget so widget and I'm gonna call this UI loading bar and inside of here all I'm gonna do is add a progress bar I'm gonna anchor this to the bottom I mean I'm gonna make this 50 in the Y and let's say like 500 in the X and this needs to be minus 250 and I'm gonna make this minus 50 or better yet let's make this like minus minus 100 there we go and I'm gonna rename this progress bar to loading bar and this is a variable so now in the graph when we have this event construct when we are creating the uh, UI I'm gonna drag in the loading bar and I'm going to set percent and also I will need to get the percent and this is a value from 0 till 1 so I'm going to add a float of a let's say like 0 0.05 over here and after this we are going to do a if branch check to see if this um, value right here is bigger or equal to 1 like so and if it's not then we are going to do a delay and I'm gonna make this small like 0.01 and reconnect this back to set percent so that this would loop until we reach the full bar but if this is true and we have reached the limit then all I'm gonna do is do remove from parent like so and this should work perfectly 
So now let's add this. The first thing what we should do is go to our third person character and we need to create a new function and I'm gonna call this create loading UI and this is going to be super simple all we gotta do is we need to create a widget and this widget needs to be our UI loading bar and we need to add this to viewport like so and now let's actually make this uh, run in the event in the game so in the UI where we have our chest item info where we are clicking on the item to move it now we can add this in so after we run this server add item to chest once we have sent info to the server we need to add this loading bar so I'm gonna do a reroute from the third person character and I'm gonna do create loading UI and after this we are going to do a small delay and this delay will be let's say 0.02 yeah let's leave it at default and connect this over here so this will give the server some time to um, set the items and only then we can reset the uh, widget so now if we press play select the items go to the chest now you can see that we are adding items awesome but now we have an issue if we click very fast we will get the multiple different items that does not really exist so we need to add one more thing to this and this thing would be we need a new variable and I'm gonna call this are we moving item and I'm gonna set this to true once we are clicking on the event and before this I'm going to do a if branch check to see if we are already moving an item and if we are moving an item we are not going to do anything but if we are not moving an item then we are going to allow our character to move an item around and after this is done after we have moved an item successfully then we are going to set this back to false like this there we go so now we have a fix for this and now we can remove uh, items from our chest so what we can do now is here from the true value of is this chest item if this is a chest item we need to cast to BP chest like this and we need to use the this chest variable as a reference and after this we need to drag from this BP chest and we need to do a remove item function to remove item from the chest and the item data needs to be this item data variable and the value is going to be amount is going to be one since we are removing one item at a time then we can do a branch check to see if we have removed this item and if we have removed this item then we need to cast to third person character and use the get owning player pawn as a reference and after we have done this then as third person character we need to add item and now we are adding item back to our inventory and so that we wouldn't move multiple items uh, back to our inventory but just one at a time we need to make this as inventory structure like so and we need to drag in our item data and we need to break this result and now we need to connect all the pins again except for the value pin which needs to be set to 1 and reconnect the rest of the pins like so there we go so the next thing what we can do is now we are adding the item back so let's add again the uh, create loading UI so from the third person character I'm going to do a create loading UI after this I'm going to again add a 
delay and I'm gonna leave this at the default value like it is and after this is done I'm going to do a reroute like so another reroute over here and then I'm going to do a clear HUD event like this and after all of this is done I'm going to drag from this BP chest and I'm going to get the storage RI and now from the third person character I'm going to do a create chest UI like so using this storage data as the storage RI value and this chest needs to be this chest variable like so and after all of this is done we can reconnect uh, this to the are we moving item false so that should look something like this so now let's compile and save let's test this whole thing out let's pick up a few items let's try this with multiple items just in case to see if we actually did fix everything so now let's select the chest let's move the energy drink water bottle pickaxe 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 axe axe medical supplies so now if we click super fast we can only move one item at a time and if we click this then we are getting our items back like we are supposed to so right now our UI is not closing we don't have a button to close it we need to open a different UI in order to close this UI and we are going to fix this in the next video also we are going to work a little bit on our uh, other uh, widgets so that we wouldn't be able to move um, if we have some widgets open let's say like inventory or something um, and I'm also going to give two options for closing the uh, chest widget so you will have an opportunity to choose which type of system you want to to use and also we have an issue that when we are interacting with the chest it is not closing the animation when we are leaving the chest so we are also going to work on that as well so stay tuned and uh, wait for the next video